What are the advantages of doing auto threshold with Y updates versus manually setting your thresholds and kind of watching it and making adjustments as you need to? Say that one more time, I'm sorry. What are the pros and cons of having an auto threshold with Y updating mm -hmm. versus manual thresholding and adjusting each frequency band with the T, Z, Well. If you're just using Y updating and not letting it update every run, uh -huh. then you would be in a situation where you're de going to determine how often you bring them back together. Right. The advantage of using it that way versus just simply manually updating is that you're still setting them to a specific target of feedback, a percentage of feedback that you're looking to get to. If you're doing manual adjustment, you have no idea what the, the percentage of feedback is. Well, you still have those numbers up to guide you, right? Right. Like you're 40% over. Right. And so if you really wanted that 30%. Right. Then you have to move it down versus if you had the Y key, it would take you to where you needed to be to be 30. That's exponentially damped. So you're going to have to play with it over time to find out if you're at the right spot because it's averaged. It's much faster using the computer to do the calculation. Up above under frequency bands, it has better that you would use to adjust individual thermometers. Mm -hmm. We're going to go that, hit that right now. Um, let's say that instead of 20% time above threshold for theta, we said, ah, too easy. I want to make it a little harder. If I take my T key for theta and I'm pushing it, see the 20? 20, 27, 28, 29, 30. See how I just changed the percentage to 30 as my target? You're just pressing the T key? Correct. Where is it showing us? On the thermometer, the red thermometer as the target. Up at the top. Yeah. Okay. Take it to 30. Now, did the feedback change yet? It's going down. Well, then hit your caps lock. Okay, it's caps shift, shift, T, and T. Take it up and down depending. Oh, I see. T and what? Shift T. Okay. But when you've made that percentage change, you haven't changed feedback yet until either it hits a run. No, 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 no. You either go Shift T to move it in one direction, T to move it to the other direction. If you have your caps lock on, they're opposite. So you got to be aware if you have it on or not. It'll confuse you. Okay. But Let's say I've made the adjustment to 30% and I want to then essentially change the feedback to be based on that new percent. What do I have to do? Y, y key, exactly. Okay. Now let's say I wanted to change the beta and I wanted to make it 70. What key would I use? Yeah. Exactly. So as I hit my B key 10 times, I've taken it up to 70. Well, if your session's over, it's not going to work. Oh, the session's over, sorry. Okay. <laughs> and then if you, again, I've made a change, I wanted to implement it, I hit so the Y the key. the red number that's changing? The red number at the top is changing. Right. And then you hit the Y key to change the thresholds based on that new target. Everybody with me? So again, as, as you're making that number, with the beta example, as you're making the number go up, you're making it easier. On the beta, yes. As I went up on the theta, I made it Tough. harder. Tougher. All the beta is inhibit, beta is a Correct. Rotor. Now, by looking at these thermometers, how can I tell? Tell what? <laughs> if they're a go or a stop. Ah, the easy answer is there's a plus or minus. If you look in the ball of the thermometer, the minus means it's a stop, the plus means it's a go. If I pull up, for instance, alpha, you'll notice a zero means it's an ignore. Now, one little glitch in the software, and it depends on screen resolution that you have. If you click all the components on, all eight, you'll probably squish one off to the side and you won't be able to see it. Okay? Now, if you have one of the newer computers with the nice wide screen and it's 1800 by 1440, it's not an issue. 
but it's an issue on a computer, on laptops more than on desktops. Okay. Great question, because mine just did also. I simply close. Are you sure you want to exit? Okay. Go back to the setup home screen, run the next session, and go. The setup home screen? Yep, it's the main, where's the screen you start. Run the next session and go. Is that under session control? No, it's go use these settings, get out of there. It's in the main screen. Set up home screen, the first screen you go to in the software. Did you find it? Okay. So the B and the Y changes the data threshold? The B. The B changes the target. Y will update thresholds at any time for all components with feedback based on them. Normally when you go to the next session, everything, it's not saved in the demo, but in one of your own protocols, all that stuff would be saved, like tech stats and everything. Wouldn't have to do it over again. When you say tech stats, I don't know what you mean by tech stats. Um, I mean, there's a tech stats display. If yeah, it's checked, right. it'll show up. That, that just disappeared, and the mm -hmm. other Correct. Because that's, this is a protected protocol. Correct. But in your own protocol, protocol you're using, yep. it will all be safe. Yeah, you can preset that training screen to show up the same every time. 